Good morning, friends. It's Robin here with Mattman and Robin, and I am nice and cozy this morning with a great haul. Surprisingly, most of these items are boy items, and I didn't even plan that. It's just kind of what happened at Dollar Tree yesterday. Um, full disclosure, I've already filmed this once. I filmed it last night before we went to sleep, and normally I don't edit or even watch my videos. I just upload them. <laughs> like, I video them and upload them and what happens, happens. And um, last night when I was filming this video, I got to the last item and my phone died. So I just I got frustrated with it, turned it off, and we went, you know, and did the rest of the thing for the evening. Um, but then when my phone powered back up, for some reason, I decided to watch the video and the audio was awful. So I'm really glad um, that the first video didn't work. But I'm telling you this because some of these items are opened and that's why. I opened them in the video that will never be seen because the audio was so awful and my phone died. So anyway. Let's get on with this mostly boy haul. I'm really excited. Um, a lot of these things are either new to me or I haven't talked about them on the channel or they're things I've been hunting because I was, um, I saw them in other people's hauls. So let's start with Legos. I think um, Legos are great for all boy boxes. Um, you do have to watch the size for the two to four year olds. So the larger Legos are better for them. But for um, six to nine, oh, sorry, five to nine and 10 to 14, um, a Lego kit can go in any box, whether it's themed or unthemed or has a giant soccer ball in it. Um, Legos are great for every boy box. So every time I'm there, I try to pick up a pack of these 100 piece make it blocks. Now, if you notice, the um, the colors are kind of uh, subdued. They're subdued colors in, in the packet. Here is what the packet looks like. Okay, it's stuck. There we go. So the colors are pretty, um, you know, brown and gray and blue and green. So what I like to do is anytime Anytime I see a packet of yellow Make It Blocks, I pick it up and I just sprinkle a few in and it makes, it just brings the whole thing to life. It looks so much more cheerful and colorful and happy. And I've never actually seen this set. Um, it's five building bases. Um, so I was really excited to find these. A, they're yellow, which I love. And B, they're smaller bases. So I'm hoping that these will fit into some of my little Lego kits that I'm making. I buy different sized Tupperware and send these um, Legos in as a kit. So to have some bases is really a blessing, especially yellow because it's just a happy color. Um, the next thing I found were some more of these minifigs in a set of five. I had not picked up the Galactic Force set. Um, these guys all have helmets. So I think that they are, well I know, that they are meant to be astronauts. Um, but I think that they will work for any Lego kit. You can throw a little guy in there with a few Legos. But I think it also would work for racing or sports, any type of motocross or cycling, anything that you would need a helmet for. Um, so I went ahead and picked up these. The next things I found I was really excited about. I saw them hauled uh, by Trish with Bird Feed here. If you're not following her, you should. Um, she's a fellow OCC YouTuber. And um, she hauled these the other day. They are a different brand. They're called Best Lock. And this one is a fire truck and it has 90 pieces. And this one is a construction, like a forklift. And it has 80 pieces. 
And then this one is a tractor, uh, or they call it a harvester, and it has 81 pieces. So I previously opened this one. Let's check it out. I was curious to see, um, like, on the front, this is what it looks like. And if you look, there's a little man there. But there's nowhere on here that tells you what all is included. It just says how many pieces. And then on the back, there's just the different um, size and dimensions of the piece, and it shows you that this articulates. But um, I didn't see anything about the little Lego figurine, so I wanted to know. So I opened these, and this um, it comes with this little bag of mostly green pieces. And then here is a second bag, and it does um, come with Lego, Lego figurine parts. So there's the Lego head and um, his little arms are over here. So he does need assembly, but two packs um, and the instructions are Ikea style, meaning no English. It's just images to let you know. Uh, there are numbers, but I'm, I'm pretty sure numbers are universal. And um, it just shows you how to put this piece together. Um, I wanted to see, because I know um, these are some make it blocks. They're blue so that you can, um, I can tell the difference and know where to put them back. This is a make it block and I know that these are compato compatible with Lego brand bricks. I wanted to see, um, and when I did this yesterday, I did it in haste and it was not very good results. So. I have this 3D block from Make It Blocks, and this is a flat plate from Best Lock. You wanna see, oh, they go together really well. Um, when I was trying last night, I was trying to attach two bases together, and they didn't want to come apart very well. Um, so, these work great. I do wanna try one more piece. Um, this is the closest to a three-dimensional piece I could find in that open bag. Um, so this is how it fits to itself. It's a good snap on there. It is quite stuck, but it does come off. And then, um, again, this is the best lock and how it fits on a um, make-it block. Okay, it does go on and coming off part is the difficult one. But it did, and it came off better today than it did yesterday. So I would say that these Make It Blocks are compatible with these sets from Best Lock, um, which if A plus B equals C, I would assume that it means that these Best Locks are also compatible with Lego brand leg, uh, bricks. So, I believe that is all of the Legos. The next thing that I found were these, um, what do they call them? Play sets, that's, that's what I'm gonna call it. So it's a little um, house and a vehicle and some street signs and I also got it in construction. This is the one that's previously opened. Um, so this is what is all included in this. And I opened it because I was curious about the quality. So this part of the vehicle is metal. Um, the wheels in here, they are attached to the vehicle with metal, so it's not plastic. Um, this section, however, is plastic but it does spin and you roll up the sleeves. It rolls very nicely. It's a smooth ride. Um, you can't see down here, but it's doing a great job. So I think that these are a great little purchase. Um, here are the little road signs, good quality. It has a little leg to sit um, and these two. Uh, this one, they do have some English on them but I think it's universal that these are little road signs. They're not official um, US whatever um, style signs. They're just generic. So even if the kiddo does not read English, these are fun to play with. 
And here are the little houses. So, when I saw this, I've seen them several times and I keep passing them up and I never knew if they were worth it or not, but um, I have been watching Nikki on YouTube and if you don't watch her, you should. Again, I will try my best to link both Nikki and Trish um, in the description below. I've never done that before, so I'll do my best. But I was thinking of her when I saw these little kits because she makes the most adorable peg dolls. So I thought that if I just took, you know, this little kit, the construction kit, um, this Lego construction, and I also have this little magic towel, and I put two um, construction guys Peg dolls inspired by Nikki. This would be such a great themed box and it came together so quickly. Um, and I think that this kiddo would have a lot of fun. Um, I think that would be perfect for a boy aged five to nine. And so that is my goal. That's what I'm gonna do with these little sets. I'll make some firemen and some construction men and include them in um, a box, which I am so excited about. So. Thank you, Nikki, for that inspiration. Thank you, Trish, for finding these and um, giving me the desire to hunt them out. And it's because of you and our whole community that that box is going to come together. The next thing that I saw were these uh, monster trucks, which I believe, um, maybe D from D Rogers hauled these. Um, in a previous haul, uh, this one is a shark, so I picked up one of him. He's red. This one is a dinosaur, so I picked up two of him for my dino boxes. And um, I will tell you that after going to Dollar Tree yesterday, I had to go to Walmart um, for work. And of course, if I'm in Walmart, I'm gonna look at the toy aisle. And the... Um, the Hot Wheels were completely wiped out at Walmart. Um, I, I guess there's a Hot Wheels shortage. They're probably lost in shipping. Uh, but there were none of the regular 97 cent ones. But a little ways away, there were these monster truck guys. Um, the only difference that I saw in them is that the tops were a little more colorful. And they had um, some color in the hubcaps of these but it was the same cast and there were two of them, a set of two and they were $8 for two. And I got these two for $2.50. So if you see these in your Dollar Tree, they are a really good value. Again, it's that great um, Hot Wheels quality. The difference being that this top is plastic um, as opposed to the die cast ones that are a dollar the, just the small ones, sometimes they are metal. Um, but I really like that these wheels, they like articulate, they move. Um, you can tell better from the bottom that they are suspended. So it gives you a lot of um, suspension. Imagine that. But what I really like about these is that this will drive over any terrain. So if the child that receives these um, only has access to play in the dirt or over rocks, um, you don't have to have a flat surface to make this go. It can go in all terrain. And so I think these are fabulous and great for boxes, probably even better than a standard Hot Wheels. Um, so they are big, they do take up a lot of room, but in my opinion, it's probably worth it. The next things that I found were in the, um, the teacher area, the teaching tree. These are building circles is what they are called. They're just little discs that interconnect and I like to take them and split them into the colors and then put them in pencil packs and boxes. They just make a great little addition to any um, pencil pack or box for boys. So I did pick up all that they had, which was five sets, 
and I will break them down uh, to make them go further. I also found in the teaching tree what they are calling counting chips. But if you remember back to like elementary school, at least for me, I was in elementary school in the early 90s. Um, they, we used these to play bingo. So they're little bingo chips. And what I got these for, I actually saw someone on Facebook, in the Facebook groups, if you're not a part of that, you should. Uh, there's so much information that we share on there with the community as a whole. Um, and it's so friendly and encouraging. But I saw her purchase something that looked exactly like this. If it wasn't this, it was a lot like this. And she had drawstring bags and she drew the tic-tac-toe box. And then she went to Lowe's or Home Depot or any home building store near you, a Menards, whatever. And she bought tile separators. So they're in the shape of an X. And she included some tile separators as X's and these as O's and it made a perfect cute little tic-tac-toe gift. So that is my goal and aim to use these with. You get 75 of them for $1.25, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, the next thing I saw, these are new to me. Um, I don't know if you've seen them before, but it is two sets of playing cards. Um, this one is called Fish, and this one is called Zoo. And what I like about these the most is, um, a little bit you can tell on the front, but mostly you can tell on the back that they are written in both English and French. And French is a very popular language around the world. Um, I am not an expert, but I would say probably um, English, Spanish, French, and Mandarin would probably be the most spoken languages. Um, but I am no expert. I did not do any research, just making it up. Just out of what I feel like might be the case. I just know these are very, it's a very popular language. So I was excited. Um, and in here, I did go ahead and open it up. Um, the first game is called Fish. And it is just like, go fish. Um, and the, um, the point of the game is to make matching pairs. And then this one is called Zoo Snap. And it's just like the game called Old Maid. Except instead of at the end there being a maid, there is the zookeeper. So you don't want to be the one stuck with the zookeeper. So this is um, what the cards look like. They have the English up here and the French down here. And here is the generic backing. Also, the instructions are in English on one side, which you can't tell, it's too little to tell on my phone, and then French on the other. So I am so excited to find these, and I hope that um, they go to a country that speaks English or French, or that there is someone around them that can explain it. And if not, they have a bunch of cards that have animals on them, and they can create their own game, which I'm sure would be very similar to a go fish or an old maid. So this is what they look like. And for $1.25 to get two games, I think that's pretty great. Um, these, I'm so excited. So Dollar Tree has their little figurines that you can purchase. And um, I've seen a lot of minions. I've seen a lot of Disney princesses. I've seen the Incredibles, um, Paw Patrol, Monsters, Inc., Toy Story, but I have never seen these characters. And it made me smile. And um, I was born in 1985, so I had five good years in the 80s. And um, I don't know where you fall in the 80s realm, if you were a kid or not, but I loved a show called Muppet Babies. I think they're doing a revamp of it, maybe on a streaming service, but I squealed when I saw Kermit and Miss Piggy. They're so cute. Um, these are the other creatures, Muppets, that were available. There's Miss Piggy and Kermit, and then Fonzie. 
Oh, it doesn't have an N in it. I always thought it was Fonzie. It's Fozzie. And Gonzo, an animal. And then this is a new character here, this birdie. Um, her name is Summer. But I thought these were great. And I picked them up because it just made my heart happy. So maybe I can start collecting items to have a Muppets box. And so far it's one boy and one girl. So who knows if the box will end up being for a boy or a girl. So we'll see in the future, it might take a while. The next thing I saw was this Cosmic Sand. I've never picked this up before, but I am doing a, um, a outer space themed box. And I thought since this was called Cosmic Sand, it would be great. I will find some kind of a um, Tupperware, Tupper, Tupperware, like a plastic thing to put these in. Um, I will, however, leave it in the packaging and just include the extra piece of Tupperware for the sand because um, I contemplated not buying this because in the restricted items, on Operation Christmas Child, it does say natural sand. Um, this is obviously not natural, it's blue. They've added things to make it stable and moldable, um, but I just don't want anyone at the distribution center to be um, confused by it, so I will leave it in the packaging when I send it in the box. The next things I got um, are probably the most girly because they are Valentine's Day things. I found these adorable erasers. I don't need any pencil toppers. I have a ton, but these are so cute. I don't know if you can tell. They are little unicorns. They are pink and red. I did pull one out to show you. This is, come on, focus. This is what it looks like. Cute little unicorn. I will say that I have this on the pencil end. Um, because it is a very shallow pencil topper. So if you have pencils without erasers, these are great. But if you put it on the end with the eraser, it only covers barely the eraser and it's not very stable. Like it just kind of wiggles around and pops off. Um, but they are still really cute and very usable little erasers. The next thing I found is a stuffy. He's so cute, he's a little triceratops. I would not have known that he is Valentine's Day, except that he was on the Valentine's aisle, and he has hearts in his eyes, which I think is adorable. But he's really soft, like a Squishmallow, um, and he, he's just, he's pretty great quality. I think Dollar Tree has really stepped up their stuffed animal game. Two years ago, I would have said, don't ever buy a stuffed animal at Dollar Tree, but now they're actually filling them full of fluff and the um, the stitching is better and the fabric is better quality. So good job, Dollar Tree, stepping up your stuffy game. I also found this book called Love Bugs and it just has a cute little creatures in it. Um, I did get it because I am trying to put together a bumblebee box. I know the front is more um, ladybugs, but it does feature a bumblebee, so I thought this, this could go in that box. And then I had to pick up these adorable rings. You get 12 of them for $1.25, and I try to put a piece of jewelry in every girl box because um, every girl just wants to be special, and I think jewelry makes us feel special. That's <coughs> that's all of the Valentine's Day items. Next are some school supplies things that I found. I did find these mini composition notebooks. There are three of them in a pack for $1.25. I was so excited. I bought like seven or eight and I was over the moon thrilled. And then I get to Walmart and I found the same thing for 97 cents. And then I remembered, oh yeah, Dollar General has the same thing also for a dollar. So um, I mentioned in my previous video about doing a this or that series. I think I might include these. 
and just compare the three different brands because they're all roughly the same price. These being the most expensive, of course, the ones I pick, uh, but I also think that they are probably the ones with the least amount of paper in them. So I will try to find the other two of these uh, from the other stores and add them to my this or that list for the series. Let me know if you wanna see that. Um, I also picked up this three pack of paper of legal pads. This is what it looks like. Um, I do know that there is something very similar to this also at Walmart, so maybe I will do that too. And we'll just have a this or that paper episode. The next things I found I was really excited about um, it was a restock on these gel pens. I bought these back a few months ago and have been looking for them ever since because when they wrote, it was so smooth and fun and glittery. It is the color that you see here. So I just, I know I have featured these before, but I just wanted to let you know that they are restocked at my, I saw them at two Dollar Trees in the past few days. So Keep an eye out. Um, I did get a couple for my box and I got one set for me. Then I picked up some pencils, nothing special. Um, this one I believe I have hauled before. And this one I got because I love this sparkly uh, teal pencil. And then the boy ones are so hard to find and I've never seen this exact one before. This one is from the teaching spot. So they do have um, words of affirmation on them. These ones say you did it. Um, this one says thumbs up and these ones say impressive. So I just, I like finding the boy color in pencils and I buy them when I can. Um, I also wanted to show you these two sticker packs. Uh, they are, I have shown these before. Uh, this is a Mickey one and these are My Little Ponies. I just wanted to let you know, I buy these for pencil packs. They're great, you can either uh, put in a whole sheet or you can cut them in half here, whoop, and um, double the amount that you can put in uh, pencil packs. And I just think that they, they're they bright and colorful and can liven up any box. The next things I found I was really excited to find, I found three different I draw books. So I got a fox one because I am doing a fox box for a girl aged 10 to 14. I found a puppy one because a puppy can go in any box. And I found this unicorn one. Um, what I have never noticed about these, which I've purchased a lot, is that there are two different levels. Right here, there is a beginner eye draw and there's an intermediate and advanced ones. So I just kind of wanted to show you the difference in the two. Um, this one is the advanced one, and when you open it up, um, you're going to get a big description over here, and here is the image of what you are learning to draw, and then, um, the page before is where they teach you how to do it. So, um, that is what the advanced one looks like. And the beginner one, you will notice, is a little bit different. It, <laughs> this is the ferret. It has the how to draw it over here and then gives you the space to draw it over here, but it also has the colored image down in the bottom corner. Um, so just a lot of fun. There's a little turtle. I do like that the image is in color. I think it makes it a bright, cheerful thing. So I am really glad that I noticed the difference in these two, and I can't wait to include them in my boxes. I also picked up these um, coloring books. I have shown them in the past, but I this set, this specific three, are, is new to me. So I wanted to show you this one is a panda, this one is a llama, and this one is a sloth. I like these coloring books. I think they have really great images. I think it has really good quality uh, paper. Um, they are cute. The only issue that I have with them um, is also the reason I like them, is that they are small. 
So you can, um, I'm trying to open this to show you, but it is being a booger bear. You can add them to almost any box. Um, so it does fit down flat in the bottom of a shoe box. You don't have to bend it around the side or anything. It's bright and cheerful and colorful. Uh, the quality of the paper is really good. It's that nice stark white with very clear lines. But my problem is there are only eight pages in here. So eight pages and um, folded in half and maybe even four, I can't remember, but it's not very many coloring pages. So in a pinch, this is great. It doesn't take up hardly any room and um, it's good quality. I just, I like to send the larger ones to send more playing time or more shareability with the pages. So that is the coloring books that I hauled. The next section and the last section is crafts. I um, do want to do and send more crafts this year. When I was at the distribution center, I saw several of these. Um, also being inspired by Nikki and her craftiness and painting. I picked up two of these and I'm going to try painting them. They might be very basic, just painting the wheels black and the tops a solid color. But um, I just wanted to see if I enjoy it, if it's something I can do and add to boxes. So I picked up two of these as testers that will go in boxes. I also found these two wood shop items. This one is a shark and this one is a rocket ship. And what they are, it's kind of hard to tell, but they are wind chimes. See, so there's the shark and then here's the seashell and here are the wind chimes hanging from it. So fun, I thought that was such a creative idea. There's the rocket ship and then a planet and then the wind chimes hanging from it. The only downside to this is that it comes with paint. So I will take the paint out. I will mark an X through this on the back. So at the distribution center, they know there's no paint in it. And I will just be in, be sure to include these three colors as markers. I will put the three markers inside this bag and then send this in, <coughs> in my box. So that's my plan with these. I think they're great. I've, I've never seen these at Dollar Tree. So be on the lookout. Oh, I knocked off some pins. I also picked up these. I don't know if I featured these before. This is the stretchy elastic for bead kits. I just pick these up so in case I find random bead sets on clearance, I can add different colored elastics to them. And then the last few things I have, um, these are parkour and there is 25 feet in these. I find these in the tool section. They are the in-house brand tool bench there at Dollar Tree. And for $1.25 to get 25 feet of parkour, I think that's a pretty good deal. This one is a really pretty teal blue. It's kind of not picking up the accurate color on my phone. And then this one is a neon green mixed with yellow. And these would be great to go in boy boxes just as they are. There's so much they can do with parkour but I bought them specifically to make drawstring bags and use these as the drawstrings. So, be on the lookout. There were a couple other colors, but I bought these two as they were the brightest. I also picked up some black yarn to include in my baby doll kits that I am, uh, kits for myself, not kits to send. And I will use this to make the hair on my rag dolls if I ever get up enough courage to actually do it. And the last two things are boards. This is a whiteboard and this is a chalkboard. And I already have some um, dry erase markers. That's why I picked this up. And it does have this little kickstand so it will sit up like an easel so they can draw or write or practice homework or whatever they want to do. Play, play tic-tac-toe, hangman all kinds of games and fun you can have with this. 
So I did pick up a few of these to finish off the dry erase markers I have. And then I um, don't always find these in Dollar Tree, so I picked up a lot in hopes of picking up some um, sidewalk chalk to include with them. So these are, this one is basically eight inches by six inches, which means it will fit nicely down in the bottom of a shoebox or can be sent in as filler. Uh, we will see how it goes. Anyway, that was my haul. I was so excited to get home and lay it all out and realize it's mostly boy stuff because boy stuff is so hard for me to find. It's easy. I'm drawn to the pink frills and the princesses and the crowns. Like, I see those everywhere, but boy stuff is just harder and I am really pleased with this haul. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out Trish from Bird Feed and Nikki who makes the peg dolls because our community is great and amazing and we couldn't do any of this without each other. So in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye.